Macbeth by William Shakespeare, Act 1, Scene 5, Two Minute Talk Through with Mrs. Garbutt from the NET Director Team. Act 1, Scene 5 opens with Lady Macbeth who's reading a letter from her husband. This private moment allows the audience to understand their caring relationship as it contrasts the soldier who's been to battle. Macbeth eagerly discusses the witch's prophecy. When I burned in desire implies he has embraced their temptation, which contrasted Banquo's reaction. Macbeth states that Lady Macbeth will share his greatness. However, this prompts Lady Macbeth to openly admit that she believes her husband lacks the necessary drive as he is too full of the milk of human kindness to commit this dreadful deed, yet she is the one who possesses this quality. Lady Macbeth believes manipulation is necessary, therefore she is prepared to pour my spirits in thine ear, suggesting she knows she can charm Macbeth, like the serpent in the Bible, who whispers temptation into the ear of Eve, which triggers their guilt and shame. Lady Macbeth is informed of her husband's return by the raven himself. The imagery of this messenger symbolises an ill omen in the prophecy foreshadowing the dreadful events that will come. Through this soliloquy, Lady Macbeth accepts the witch's prophecy by using imperatives that resonate casting a spell, such as, come you spirits, come thick night. Lady Macbeth knows that human kindness must be obliterated if power is to be achieved, so she demands, unsex me here. Therefore, she desperately wants her nurturing facade to be removed as she links power to men and weakness to women. Evil flourishes best in darkness, hidden from heaven's gaze. Therefore, smoke of hell links to the witch's fog and filthy air, so the act of regicide could happen without any acknowledgement or consequences. Once Macbeth returns, he's tempted by his wife to look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. This simile links to the Bible, yet the gender is reversed. It also implies he needs to be a gracious and respectful man and not a coward. However, the serpent is a symbol of evil and transformation, suggesting the change in the divine right of kings. Consequently, their relationship is not built on mutual respect. In fact, this pivotal moment shows Lady Macbeth's duplicity as she clearly looks at her husband with disdain. Lady Macbeth manipulates her husband, so he follows her instructions by ending the scene with the chilling phrase, leave all the rest to me.